Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? So today is just going to be a short video because someone just leaked Ash's new design in the upcoming reboot, or whatever you want to call it, to the Pokemon anime. It's all over the internet and big Japanese blogs and sites have posted about it, so it's looking pretty legit. We're just two days away from the official reveal to the next Pokemon anime featuring Sword and Shield's Galar region that is supposed to have big changes to the usual Pokemon formula on the 29th. I'll definitely have a video up for that once the official reveal is revealed, so definitely stay tuned. But can I just say, I'm so thankful that Ash and Pikachu is back for the next Pokemon anime, and that they didn't just decide to reboot the series with an entirely new protagonist. I know some of you are probably disappointed not to see Ash finally retire after just winning the Pokemon League, but I'm sure there are also many of you who are more than happy to see Ash come back. Now what was leaked was just a poster and some character design art, so nothing about the story. But what we see here is that Ash has a new friend who we've never seen before, and apparently some people were confused as to whether or not the character is a boy or a girl because the eyes on the character has lashes while also having an ornament in their hair. Personally, I think the new character is a boy as boys can also have long lashes and ornaments too, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But on to Ash. So seeing Ash's new revamped design for the next Pokemon anime, I think we can all agree that it's at least a little inspired from the designs in Sun and Moon. I mean, if anything, he looks even younger in this upcoming Pokemon anime. It's probably because his eyes are even bigger in proportion to his face when compared to his design in Sun and Moon. The squigglies underneath his eyes are still there, but the bigger change in his design is probably in his hair, where it's now spiking upwards rather than leading relaxed in Sun and Moon, or even the older Pokemon anime giving him a more upbeat look which is probably going to be represented in his personality as well, seeing as how Alola was pretty laid back and this new Gala region is all about working hard. Aside from that, we can also see that his hat has a new design as well. Overall, people seem to be really digging the new design, at least from the initial comments, from both the Japanese and Western audience. It's as if they took the best parts of the Sun and Moon designs and sort of mashed it together with things that worked from the older designs. I mean, I'm sure this design would have worked out pretty well in the Sun and Moon anime, but probably not so good in X and Y. But more so on the background behind the characters, because we see a bunch of locations on what seems to be a globe from many previous games. So we now know they're gonna be traveling to different regions in this anime, while also meeting tons of Pokemon exclusive to those specific regions. We even see Mew at the very top beside the Pokemon logo, which means we're definitely gonna be going all the way back to Gen 1. But at this point, all I'm wondering is if Ash's design will change when he travels back to a region he was previously in. Trippy, but possible. So all we know in a nutshell, Ash is going on a world tour with a boy or girl in the anime. National Dex is still cut from the games, but hey, at least Ash is back. Anyways, are you happy to see Ash back in the next Pokemon anime? Do you think Ash will be traveling the world with a boy or a girl? As usual, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thumbs up the video, subscribe for more What's Up in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.